teach you how to play PAL games on your NTSC Dreamcast. First thing you want to do is download Utopia All, and it is in the description. It's the first thing you want to do, then extract it. Now go into the Utopia All folder and where it says Utopia Boot Disk Volume 1.3 CDI raw take that and go to extract. Now open that folder and then go to your start button computer and go into your C drive. This is the quickest way to do it. Now take that file, drag it into your C drive. Maybe you don't want to rename it. This is the simplest way that I can come across. You just call it boot or something simple of that nature. Alright, now you're going to want to download Disk Juggler, and if you already have it installed, go to it. And uh, Disk Juggler will be in the description also, which is a demo, but this is all you'll need. Click on this little green icon at the top, go to Burn Disk Images. Alright, now type this, Let's see. slash boot dot cdi and then it'll pop up at the bottom and say cd ROM three sessions two tracks alright now of course you're going to need a blank cd insert your blank cd and then go to advanced and where it says mode go down to mode two block go down to 2352. Make sure your offset is at zero. And TOC CD VA. Click draw right right here. I are right. Now this is really important. And where it says method. Go down to all the way down to the bottom. 4x for write speed because you don't want it to write too fast because it'll mess up your your write. All right. Next, then you will click the start button right here. And it'll start burning. And when it's done, I'll show you what happens in that. Alright guys, now take your newly created Utopia boot disk, turn on your Dreamcast. Put it in. Close it. And it will boot. And it says, Sega Dreamcast, if you bought this CD, you have been cheated. So, yeah, you don't have to buy this. Alright. This is, uh, this is the awesome part. See, I bought this, well, this was bought for me in 2002 for $59.99 at a local GameStop and when I got it home it didn't work and I was very upset and just recently I figured I had to use the Utopia to play it this is the Sh a PAL Shinmu 2 and this is an NTSC Dreamcast so you take your Utopia out and you notice the screen is still going Insert a PAL game, 
in this case, Shinmu 2. And thus the magic begins. You see a little counter at the bottom? And it loads up pretty quickly. No need to go buy a PAL Dreamcast plate. Shinmu 2 because the US never actually got Shinmu 2 for Dreamcast. It came out on uh, the Xbox way later. Like a year later. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps you play PAL games on your Dreamcast because it definitely has helped me. So, if you enjoyed, please subscribe and rate, comment if you need any help. Let me know, and I will be glad to help you. Jago 311. Take care, everybody.